This video will explore the issue of whether this spicy snack is really dangerous. You be the judge. They have Taki challenges. Who can handle the heat? Takis are the new flaming hot Cheetos. You know, the ones that were so addictive they were banned in some schools across the country. Takis, little rolled up corn tortilla snacks drenched in a spicy coating. According to Dr. Martha Rivera of White Memorial Medical Center in Los Angeles, we have a population that loves to eat the hot, spicy, not real foods, and they come into the ER with real complaints. The kids are being set up for ulcerations, erosions, and peptic ulcer diseases. Takis are hard on kids' stomachs, and adults too. This super hot snack has too much salt and too much fat. That makes them addictive, according to some research. They also increase stomach acidity. My grandchildren and great-grandchildren love them, much to my disappointment. I read where a 12-year-old ate 20 to 30 bags of assorted spicy chips and developed gastritis. So what is gastritis? The irritation, inflammation, and erosion of the stomach lining. Symptoms are burning, bloating, hiccups, vomiting in extreme cases, and abdominal pain. Takis come in many flavors. Fuego, hot, it's the favorite. It's chili pepper and lemon. Salsa brava, flavored with hot sauce. Takis nitro, habanero and lime. Crunchy fajita, taco flavored. And a new one I saw was explosion, cheese and chili pepper, tortilla chips. Fujicate, which is an awesome database, sort of a food police, lists the ingredients of Fuego Takis. Number one, there's a warning, an allergen alert. There are milk, eggs, wheat, and the dreaded yellow number five. They left out the soy warning. There are many that are allergic to soy. Number two, they are filled with genetically modified organisms. They are chemically modified, processed, and full of pesticides. Number three, there's trans fats, anything hydrogenated. MSG, chemicals, natural and artificial flavorings, chemicals, iodized salt, flavor enhancing chemicals, BHT, which is butylated hydroxytulene, which is a food additive that prevents rancidity or oxidation or spoilage. It's anticipated to be a human carcinogen by the National Toxicology Program in 2005. BHA, which is also another food additive, and both of these are both banned in other countries. And don't forget a little propylene glycol, a little antifreeze, which is toxic in large doses. Problems can develop over time or appear out of nowhere. The sodium content is way too high, as well as the fat content. Overeating these can lead to ulcers, abdominal pain, heart ailments, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So, are Takis causing gastritis? Scientists at John Hopkins University have sent out an alert warning consumers that those spicy Takis chips that everyone loves contains high amounts of gasoline, including the stuff I just said. According to their research, the gasoline administered into the spicy snack gives its taste a little kick. All ingredients researched during this investigation were unnatural flavorings not recommended for human consumption. You be the judge. I'll put links for my sources in the description area below. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Blessings.